Okay, happy Sunday, you guys. Thank you for watching this. If you're catching the replay, I get it. Sunday nights are crazy. I always want to have an option of when people can watch it, just in case they get a chance to watch it in the evening. Um, and if they can't, I this is the time that works best for me. Um, although my kids are getting older, so um, Sunday nights are not so much calm and and uh, and collective like they used to be. Now they are still, like my son's finally getting the shower, and my daughter's still out at youth group tonight, so she'll be home in a little bit. My husband's gonna go get her. So. What I want to do is come in here and kind of share this information with you because it's going to be really, really good to help you get started on your journey. And I wanted to make sure that you have a good idea and a good understanding as where you get started because there is so much information coming at you and I want to make sure that you feel good about the information that's coming your way. So I'm going to screen share my desktop here and I've got a presentation that I'm going to walk through with you. Um, let's see if this comes up here. And then I'm gonna present this. Okay. So this will pop up. Um, oops, sorry, let me go back here. Okay. Um, one second. Oh gosh, I didn't realize that that was going to come. Okay. Let me just send this. Okay, so this is what we're going to go through to help you get started on your journey. Oh, I don't even know where my pictures went, you guys. That's so crazy. Well, welcome to our team. We are called Empowered Nation. That is the name that I created for our team in order to allow people to understand who we are. I really felt it was just let me just say that I feel like in our journey, we need to feel empowered. We need to feel empowered that we can do this because it is scary. It is scary to say you want to commit to this. It's scary to find time to it. You're busy. We're all busy. We have busy lives. We have things that are going on. And I want to help other women to feel empowered about loving who, they're, who, who they see in the mirror, about taking care of themselves, about making those decisions to help you on your journey every single day. So what we're going to kind of go over today is who we are, which I kind of just talked about, where to start, picking your program, understanding your nutrition plans and resources. We're going to talk a lot about mindset development because I really feel like the journey starts from the inside out, accountability, community resources, and why we are different and we can go over any questions you have. Okay. So my name is Lauren Lamb. I'm a one-star diamond coach. Um, doesn't really mean a lot, so don't even worry about that. But I've been on my journey for about four and a half years. I'm um, my wife. I'm a mom of two. I have two golden doodles now. I need to change that. Um, I'm actually watching my little one right now. He's kind of being um, a ball of fire tonight, so I'm watching him. Um, he's trying to eat all my stuff under my desk. I'm going to have to rearrange things <laughs> tonight before we go to bed. Um, but my wife. Um, I really started off this journey by wanting to lose 10 pounds and I couldn't figure out, like I've done all the diets. I've tried them all. I've tried to figure out what it was. And what I ended up finding in this journey was that I love taking care of me and I have found something that I needed to do for my family and it's helped me to be better every single day. So I absolutely love, love, love it. Um, this is another coach that you might see in our journey. She's one of my leaders. Her name is Jill Frias. She was not able to join us tonight. Um, she's an Emerald coach right now. She's been on her journey for about five years. She's been a coach for about three of the five. Um, and her why, first of all, she's a wife. She has um, three sweet kiddos. Um, she has a set of twins and then she has her son. And then she's got that sweet little pup right there. 
Um, her why is that she does this to be her best self. Wow, my goodness, I got a few typos here. In every aspect of her life, it not only helps her, but the effects that she's seen and felt by her family, but her coworkers and her friends, really everybody around her. And she is, oh, she's just a ball of energy. She's a teacher right now. So she is, things are crazy for her. She's getting still used to the new school year. Okay, where to start? So I'm gonna be, oops, let me go back here. I'm gonna be honest. There is a lot of information coming your way and I get that. You're gonna be getting emails from me. You're gonna be getting emails from Beachbody. There's gonna be um, your Beachbody account that you can go to. There's gonna be our BOD group. Like there's all these acronyms and everything. So a lot's gonna be coming your way and I'm just gonna be honest. Do not be overwhelmed. It's gonna be okay. You're going to, I'm gonna explain it all. And if you have questions along the way, please feel free to ask. I am here to help you 100% of the way, okay? So the first thing is, is to not be overwhelmed. Know that it is a lot of information, but I promise it will streamline. It will all be streamlined. Okay, let's start with fitness. I think that's the biggest thing a lot of people jump in with is just wanting to get the workouts and where do we go to get them. So the best way to do it is Beachbody On Demand. It is honestly the best. They call it BOD for short, so Beachbody On Demand. Um, and it's honestly like a Netflix of workouts. There's so much that you can pull from, um, from nutrition to workouts. And when you go on to Beachbody On Demand online, you can find a blog with extra recipes, um, all kinds of resources as far as. Um, uh, sleep and wellness, and there's all kinds of stuff that's on there as well. So when you go to Beachbody On Demand, you can access it in a number of different ways. You can get it through um, an Amazon Fire Stick, through a Roku, through Apple TV. You can use it on your phone and Chromecast it um, to your phone. I know when I travel, I usually take my laptop or I take my phone and I'm able to do it in my hotel room or in a hotel gym. So you can access it anywhere that you have Wi-Fi. If you're not at home with your Apple TV or whatever you have, don't worry, I promise you can still access it and it knows your login is the exact same as the login when you did your Beachbody account on the team page. Once you get logged in on um, the Roku app or any of those, you're gonna find that that you're gonna be always logged in into that unless you log yourself out. One of the things that is on there though is the nutrition plans. And the nutrition plans are gold. And they're actually in their own unit on Beachbody On Demand. I'm gonna show you this here in just a second. We have two programs to follow. So if you get my emails in the beginning before as you're waiting for your box, there's about seven of them. We talk about nutrition. And so when we talk about nutrition, um, you really want to figure out which plan works best for you. Do we want to do the 2B mindset, which is more of an intuitive eating program, or do we want to do the ultimate portion fix, which is based on portion control? Both are effective. I've done them both. There's options for everyone, and there's reasons why you do different ones. Maybe you just need to know, like, okay, tell me what to eat and how to plate it, and I'm good to go. If you're more like me, where you're like, boy, I really, really love food. And um, even though you tell me I can have, you know, this and this and this, I might go a little bit over in my portions and I have a hard time kind of deciphering how much is enough. And that's when Ultimate Portion Fix comes in. What I love about both of them is that they're going to each teach you how to eat in real life, how to handle parties. They're going to talk a lot about that during the holiday season, like what to do tricks to help you um, get your eating under control and how to turn off your uh, kitchen at night and different things to help you when you hit those hard spots, emotional eating, stressful eating, things like that. So it's definitely something that can help you in both directions. Okay, I'm gonna go in as we're doing this, I wanna show you really quickly here, um, Okay, so Beachbody On Demand. I wanna show this to you because I think this is kind of just to let you see. When you go online on your computer 
or even on your phone, not through the app, but you go through your um, Safari or your Google Chrome. You're gonna find a couple different things. So one, you're gonna have your programs that are gonna be all right here. You're gonna have, um, okay, let me just let this, my computer's been really slow, you guys, and I just don't know why. Okay, so when you log in, it's gonna show you some of the ones that you've been recently using. So you can see here, if this will load, it'll tell you what you've recently been watching. So um, I'm currently doing this program. This is a new program, it's called Unstressed, which I'm gonna talk about in just a little bit. Um, I've been doing this program. I dabbled a little bit in this this week. I used a good stretch workout. And then my husband was doing this until he started his new test group that he's in. But then it will kind of go down below what the featured programs are, what is new. So it's gonna give you any updates of what's happening. So this um, had some um, previews on some stuff under this relaxation and meditation. This is a new program that's coming out um, to VIP access on October 5th. We do have a sneak peek on this if you're interested. Um, and there's a sample workout in here. Relaxation and meditation. This is a brand new program that came out in the pre and postnatal um, with Bar Blend, which Bar Blend is a newer program that was just released at the top of this year. Um, if you like bar type items or you're looking for a low to no impact that's a really good one. My legs really slimmed down during that one. Um, that one made me use muscles I didn't even know I had. It was definitely um, it was definitely a challenge for me. Um, this right here, if you get my emails, I talked to you about this. This is a great one to watch to kind of get a good feel for which nutrition plan is the right one to go to. So if you're like, boy, I really thought this was the right one, I'm gonna just look at the other one and just wanna make sure that I'm on the right path. It's okay to switch. It's okay to think, mm, this one is not for me. I need something more like this. This is one that was just released a couple months ago. And this one was out at the first of the year. And then you kind of go into some other ones that worked well. And then under programs, is where you're gonna find all of them. And you'll be able to um, filter based on you know, maybe the length of the program, what kind of program you want. So you can kind of get an idea of what those are. You guys, this is going so slow. The workout's the same type of thing. Let's see if it will. I might just have to shut my computer down tonight, you guys. Um, I wanted to show you here. If you need more guidance as far as like, what program do I do next? This kind of gives you a good program of what to see. But you can see here, you can search by popularity. The newest, if you're looking for a specific one, you can look at it through A through Z. And then over here, it will talk to you about like, you can adjust your duration, your fitness level. You know, if you wanna go no equipment, like maybe you're traveling and they don't have a good gym or you're going somewhere where they don't have, like mm -hmm. I went um, on a lake, um, to a lake house over Labor Day and they didn't have any equipment. So I looked at some of the ones that I knew that I could do that were more cardio focused and body weight and I didn't have to worry about equipment. And then you can kind of look to here too. One of the things I wanted to kind of share though was they redid this one. So let me go back this way. Oh gosh, you guys, this is terrible. Let's see if this comes up. Um, when you pull up your program and you actually click on it, there's a couple different things that's gonna come up. So I'm gonna show it under MBF. That's the one I did recently. I love this because it tells you like how many days it is, about the time amount, because like for an example, people might be like, tell me about 80 day. And I'm like, I loved 80 day obsession. It was one of my favorite programs. 
However, it is close to an hour workout. So if timing is a struggle, you oh. really don't want to click in on that because it gets to be really long if, and, you, and you don't want to set yourself up to fail from the beginning. So what I love about this is then when you click in the program you want, and this is how it is on BOD as well, like on your Roku or Amazon Fire Stick, you can also look under program materials and mm -hmm. you'll be able to see all the getting started guides, the workout calendar, a tracker sheet, um, what kind of nutrition it recommends. Like this one has a simple guide to nutrition. So if you didn't want to, or if you didn't have the two nutrition programs, which just started coming in um, with PACS last uh, what's July, then you might not have it. This is kind of a good guide to get you started. Mm. And so I love this because it gives you all of these different things that you might need. And that's in any of them. So I like to print them out at home so that I can like post my calendar. I can track my tracking sheets all right there by my workouts. Okay. Um, okay. Then under programs, I also wanted to let's see how long this will take. I want to show you where the nutrition is and the nutrition plus app. I might be jumping in the in my presentation a little bit, but I want to make sure while we're in here that I kind of show you this. This recipe, while this is loading, I'll tell you this. This is where you can find a lot of recipes. There's now a search bar in there, which it didn't have a search engine before, which was super strange. Um, okay, so when you scroll down, you'll see the nutrition center is in here. This is a newer tab, which they've just recently started pulling a lot of these pieces together, and I want to share with you what they are. So this is that introduce, introduction to nutrition to kind of help you see like what is my best route to go? Which way should I go? If you chose to be mindset, this is where you'll go to watch your videos. Each, this one and the ultimate portion fix, Autumn and Alana, they have videos to watch. They're not long, they're shorter, but they have worksheets for you to look at, tracking sheets to do, um, and they give you some recipes in there but these give you really good dialed in items on what to watch to follow the program. And I'll be honest, I haven't just watched them once. I've watched them numerous times. So if I really feel like I need to dial in my nutrition, I pull these back out. And even if I'm just doing my makeup or doing my hair, I will listen to these because I like to have that nutrition aspect mm -hmm. in my head so that when I'm going about my day, I can think about different things that they eat, especially or different kind of rules that they live by, especially Alana, because she lives by the two bunnies. And it's really important for me to have that mindset when I'm focused on the 2B mindset in that way. Now, the first 30 days that you get your challenge pack, you have access to what's called the Nutrition Plus app. Um, and that allows you to have access to both the 2B mindset, mindset membership, and the monthly fix. Basically what this is, it is gold in the program, but you need to decide if you want to keep it because it is $20 a month. Oh, excuse me. However, you do get both of these programs. Now, what do you get with the $20? This is what is, I think, amazing is it is monthly nutrition guidance and support while you're going along your journey. So she's going to, both of them come in every week, or I'm sorry, every month and give you new items. So for an example, she's gonna give you new recipes that aren't out on a normal, um, in the rest of the programs, like you get them first, um, which you can see like there's all, like this looks delicious. That looks good. <laughs> um, I was actually look, yeah, I know, I was actually looking at this, and I'm like, boy, that looks really good. Um, so you can see like when you're in that rut, like um, delicious, hello, when you're in this rut of like, what do I cook? I kind of go into here and I see what she's got. And you can see she's got all kinds of recipes in here that she adds in that you can add to your uh, menu planning. And then what I love about Alana is she'll add in extra ways to get in veggies because she's a very big veggie heavy focused program. But then she gives you ideas on what you can do for other things. So you can see um, there's just so many different things on here. Um, 
I love this part about hers. I, I, you guys, I've been doing ultimate portion fix, so I haven't been in here very much. And I'm like, ooh, I need to come back in here. Cheap, you know, cocktails, one pan dishes, which are awesome. One pan dishes are awesome mm -hmm. for meal prepping. So if you're ever looking for things to do for meal prepping, I always like to do a one pan dish. Um, I actually had to order my groceries to come tomorrow morning. So meal prepping is going to go down for me tomorrow, but I've got um, a rotisserie chicken that I bought at the grocery store yesterday that's going to cover me for tomorrow. Um, but one pan dishes are great because there can always be like your go-tos or whatever. Um, okay. Then, so you can see like there's all kinds of stuff here. Then um, she also does um, monthly videos. And you can go back in the first month that you have it, because you have 30 days for free, you can go back and do other months. So what I love about this is that every month she comes in with new topics, new one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, coaching calls. So I love to just listen to them in the background um, because you never know like what kind of tips she tells that person when you're like, oh wait, I struggle with that. What does she tell them? So it's really good to hear those. And like, obviously here you can see like seven tips for PMS. Um, I could have totally used that uh, two weeks ago. Um, you know, and you can see they're not long. Um, these one-on-ones are a little bit longer, but these little tip ones that she does, they're not long. Um, and then the one person that she does um, help coach, I think she meets with them every week, every week of the month. So to kind of guide them along. Mm -hmm. But you can see she has different monthly topics that you can just kind of listen in on to help you through your journey. And Autumn does the same thing in Ultimate Portion Fit. And then if you needed some resources, um, she has a lot of things in like tracking sheets and stuff like that. So you can see like she's clearly talking about um, different types of times of the month and, and cycles of for women, right? And then look at this, you guys. She has weekly meal plans, um, craving crusher guide. Um, and that's newer. I haven't even seen that. Yeah, like the, these are September's. So you can kind of see there's all kinds of stuff in here that you could just print it. So if you are like, I really like this, but gosh, $20 a month, I don't want to spend the extra amount. Totally understandable. I would go in and just take some time over these 30 days and like download and print a ton of recipes so that you have them. Okay. Now your bod groups are also in your regular Beachbody on demand app, but you can also access them in here. So if you wanted to get into your bod group, so sometimes you'll see like, um, I actually need to post up the meal plan. I send the meal plan out once a week. I send it in the weekly email. And then I also load it in the um, bod group. However, you can't get to the file section in your phone. You have to go online. So when you go into the bod group, there is a section that says files and you can click in there and there are a ton of recipe and meal plans in there, just so you know. So make sure you go in there and you can look at all kinds of them, okay? And then the last thing on BOD I wanted to show you is the blog. BOD is huge and I don't think people realize what a resource it is. I absolutely love uh, love the blog. So if you ever like see on my, on my emails and stuff, I share a lot of what's in the blog because it's really, really good talks about fitness, nutrition, recipes, ideas on weight loss, um, wellness tips, results, a lot on science, which is awesome. Um, I love that kind of stuff. And, um, and then it's in, in different languages if you needed it that way too. Or if you have anyone that joins you and they're looking for something, it's there. Um, and then if you needed to go and shop, you could go and shop right here. But there's so, this, there's so much in here, you guys. It's unbelievable. Okay, let's go back to the presentation here. Let me see if I can find where I had it. Um, I don't know what this little pen is that I got going on here. <laughs> How did I do that? Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, go away. Okay. Let's go back to the presentation. Okay, so that talks about BOD and that talks about nutrition as well. 
One of the things that I think is the most important thing that I don't think we do enough with as women, and I'm actually really going to change up how I talk about this, is that I feel like we need to empower women to work from the inside out. A lot of the times, most of us are like, nope, I need to lose 10 pounds. That's how I need to get started, or I need to do this, or I need to do that. But a lot of times, the reason we don't keep it off and we yo-yo diet all the time is because our mind is not in the right spot. And when our mind and our heart are not in the right spot, it's so easy to go back to being comforted in food and being comforted when we're stressed with food and like having that be our thing. And the other thing too is a lot of us grew up not really knowing to how to have a good relationship with food. And so like if like when I share like what we were like as kids and maybe you can relate, everything we did revolved around food. You want to celebrate? Let's go out for ice cream. You had a rough day? Let's eat ice cream or let's, you know, let's find some comfort food or, um, you know, we want a party. What's the first thing you do? You plan the food. Like everything is revolving around food and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you don't have a good relationship with how you handle the food that's coming in your direction, you have a hard time understanding why you can't stop eating or, you know, what can you do so that you're not eating the food all the time? So I talk a lot about mindset development and a lot in our industry, people talk about it as personal development. So you might hear either one, but I really like to change that personal to mindset because personal development, I think a lot of times has a bad rap and I think it's getting much better. But right now I feel like mindset is where we really, really, really need to be. And so to me, it's important because motivation usually gets us started. Like you want to lose weight, you want to eat better, you want to go on the diet or whatever, but it's the determination and the habits that keep you going. So it's really important to believe in that you can do it and that you can change these things. So I talk a lot about mindset. I share a lot in our groups about it and we can see in this new, um, tracking system that I'm doing about habits. And even in the Be Strong 100, I'm really focusing on reading for 10 minutes or doing something for 10 minutes or reading 10 pages a day so that we can get our mind in the right spot. And it's not just anything. You want to make sure the book is talking to you. I feel like in this industry right now, it's very, very positive. However, what you might pick up because I say, this book is amazing. You need to read it. Maybe it's nothing that you need to work on, right? Maybe mine is building the habits and the belief that I can do them, but maybe yours is just the confidence or um, that I can do it or that I just need to um, figure out what I, it's, it's just, it can vary for everybody. So it's important that if I tell people, if it's not resonating to you, if I send you a podcast, that's like, oh my gosh, just spoke to me this morning while I was walking, listen to this. And you start it and you're like, boy, this doesn't, I don't, I don't like her or him. Um, I'm not relating to them. That's okay. Feel free and empowered to turn it off and to find something that works best for you. So where I get a lot of my stuff is I do things in lots of different ways. Um, books from the library. Barnes and Nobles. I get a lot of my books off of Amazon. Um, I love a lot of physical copies of books um, because I can market it and highlight, but there's some books that I also like listening to. Um, and I'll listen to them on podcasts, on Audible, on YouTube. I would even check out your local library. They might have a app that you can download books from the library and listen to them. Um, and I love listening to books um, because a lot of times the authors read it and they add in extra stuff that you couldn't hear before, or you can hear the inflection in their voice on why that's important. And it might hit you a little bit different. And keep in mind, like for an example, on these books, like I've read both um, Girls Stop Apologizing and Girl Wash Your Face from Rachel Hollis. I've read them or listened to them each um, three to four times. And I pick up something new every time. And one of the things I do and I don't have it with me, is I always have a journal. So if there's little nuggets or anything that you want to remember, I write it down in my journal. So that way I kind of have this something to go back on. If I'm always like running into something like, oh my gosh, I remember reading about something about that. What would help me? I might go back to that. Or I might kind of be like, that might resonate to me one day. And then one day I might decide that I really need to focus in on that 
positive something that I've read and I'll write it on my mirrors or in my bathroom or on a piece of paper and I'll put it where I need it. And um, if you put, put it on your mirrors with a dry erase marker, it comes off. So I like to do that a lot. Um, so getting your mind in the right spot and having something is super helpful. Okay, so accountability and community. So we've got a couple ways that we can bring you in the circle and make it tighter. And I think that a lot of times when you have those surround you that help you show up every day. I haven't heard from my dog in a second. Let me see this. You guys, he sleeps. Um, I have like these little shelves and he started to sneak up on a shelf and sleep in there. That's why he was moving stuff around. Okay. Um, I really feel like community is huge. It's a big part of this and you need to have the support around you. So I tell people from the beginning, there's lots of ways that you can lean in, but it's up to you to lean in. I can't do anything more than provide these opportunities so you're going to get what you put into it. You're going to get out of it what you put into it. So make sure that you lean in, that you are engaging with people, that you work to make those friendships because that's what's going to make the community that much better. And then when you're, you know, when people are struggling out there and they need that encouragement and you give it to them, then that day when you need encouragement, people want to give it back to you because to me, that's what we're about, right? Is creating this encouraging and supportive group that, hey, and you'll even see it in the message thread. People will be like, I didn't want to work out today, but I knew you guys were going to be looking for it. And so here it was, I showed up. And that is huge because I'll be like, high five to you, sister, because, you know, there's days I don't want to show up either, but knowing that others are counting on me, that makes a big difference. So we have our group in, the, in our BOD, our BOD group, our Beachbody On Demand group. That's our private accountability tracker. You're able to log your workouts, your shakes, your supplements in there, as well as your water. You can track your weight in there and measurements. And um, pretty soon they're gonna take that Nutrition Plus app and they're gonna also move it into BOD so you'll be able to track your nutrition as well. But in there you can um, love on people, support on people. And then I also do a daily post in there. That doesn't get a lot of traction, but do go in and read them. There's a lot of good information, whether it's a recipe, motivation, announcements, um, some food for thought or something to think about, something on mindset development. I throw in all kinds of stuff in there. So you want to make sure that you're checking that. And sometimes, okay, quite honestly, I'll do it like maybe five minutes before I'm going to bed, which I know you're not supposed to have your phone by your bed, but sometimes I do it there. Sometimes I do it while I'm brushing my teeth because it's easy to just kind of love on some people from the day. Um, and um, sometimes if I'm on um, sitting in the bathroom because we all have to do that. That's a great time to just kind of scroll and give people love. Um, private message thread. I took it a bit further because the bod, although it's improving so much from where it started and it's really going to be pretty much mimicking a Facebook app, it's not quite there yet. So I created a message thread um, in Facebook Messenger that people can log in there and have that extra accountability. And I call it the, I think I put on here level up, but I ended up calling it rise up, the rise up empowered nation message thread, where we can give each other that extra push, show up for each other. And so it started off with people that were doing MBA and now it's going to be just filled with people that want that extra push. So it doesn't matter to me if they're doing 21 day fix or MBFA, or they're doing morning meltdown 100. We're all going to be able to be in there together and support each other. I did have Monday community calls. They were actually hard for a lot of people to get on because a lot of our crew works. So I pushed those aside, so I'm gonna adjust this. But what I ended up doing was creating a habit tracker that we can use. And I know you both have been on it, um, but it's the habit tracker, not the be strong one, but it's just that basic one. And that way we can kind of help work each other and help build each other there. And then I'm thinking about in October, of doing a um, Sunday or Monday evening um, meal prep time where I can go live in the Zoom and people can hop in, you know, and maybe even have a cup, you know, some water with them, or we can do something where we're like meal planning or prepping or something like that. So I'm kind of in the works to see what that might work like. And, um, and then you get your e weekly email from me. It comes anywhere from Friday to Sunday, just depending on my schedule. 
and it's got weekly announcements. Um, it did have replays of the previous week's calls, but we're getting rid of those. Weekly meal plans, new products that are coming out, things to try, items highlighted from the blog, things like that that I wanna share with you. Okay, so what makes us different? So whether some people tell me they're like, oh, I, I, I know a ton of beach body coaches. Some are like, I don't know any beach body coaches. It could be all across the board. But what I think that makes us different is that we are just like you. All of us are just like you. We're not any different. We all just want to um, really just work and be our best selves and to do these little things that we can do to make a difference. And we are creating a community that supports each other, no matter what life brings. So behind me, it says, um, and I don't even know if you can see it, but behind me, it says, um, live by grace, not perfection. So I think in today's society, it's so um, stressed that women need to be all of these things that we just can't possibly be. It's just too difficult to, um, you know, be the perfect um, employee and to be a perfect size and to always look, you know, the family's all ready to go or to be the perfect mom or to be Instagram ready or whatever. It's just too hard. But if we support each other and we encourage each other to be just a little bit better every day or to show up. And if you fall off the wagon, if you eat that cake and you're like, man, I really just, I didn't need it, but I just couldn't say no. And like, it's okay. Your next meal's a new meal. Your next day is a next day. Like live by grace over perfection because that just means that you didn't give up. You made a mistake. We fail. And when we fail, we fail forward. We know that maybe like think about why you ate the cake. Were you emotionally stressed? Is something going on? Did you feel pressured? You know, those types of things you never know. Like how many to I don't know about you, but um, be, me being on my journey, I'll be out and about and maybe they'll be celebrating or even when I was at work, they would have a ton of like desserts in the kitchen and I'd be like, I can't even, um, and it would be like, um, come sit and have fun. I would be like, I can't even go down there because if I go down there, I'm going to eat it. And so for me, it's just easier to not go down there. Once I got far enough in my program, I felt strong enough to be able to sit amongst a table of people that were eating the cake, then I could do it. And a lot of times people are like, I can't believe you're not going to eat it. Just a piece. It's okay. Like, what's a piece going to hurt you? Well, a piece for me is going to probably encourage me to have another sweet when I go home or whatever. So all these different things, um, it just kind of is a snowball effect for me. So I think we are going to have those things. And it's okay to figure out what causes to do it or to know that tomorrow is another day. And so we just support each other no matter what life brings. And I love this quote from Zig Ziglar. He says, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Okay. Do you guys have any questions on any of this? I'm gonna stop my screen share so I can see your beautiful faces. Oh, Rosa, you're uh, muted. Sorry, <laughs> I thought I had it muted. Okay, I I'm glad that you went over where it talks about the programs and the materials because I was wondering like, where do I get that printout? Because I'm doing MBF. So I've been using like a blank piece of paper to write down my info, but now I know yeah. where to go. So yeah. that's good to know. Um, so for all of the programs, if they have something like that, like a tracker, that's where it would be then? Yes. That's where okay. it'll be. And a lot of times there'll be a calendar. So even though it's laid out, mm -hmm. I kind of like to know like, what am I doing tomorrow? Right. Or especially if you know, like you're going to be out of town this weekend. Sometimes what I do, like if I'm like, okay, I'm going to be out of town and I know I'm going to be at like a friend's house and I don't know if they're going to have weights or anything. I sometimes rearrange my weeks and I'll be like, maybe I'll put my cardio over there and then I'll, you know what I mean? I'll kind of adjust it. So I like to have a calendar too. So they always have a calendar too, of kind of like how the program's laid out. Okay. And then also as far as like the, um, the nutrition, I did notice, I didn't realize just the other day, I was looking through it again. Mm -hmm. And so I do see where you're talking about how every month they give you new information. Cause I saw that on there, like it'll say August for September, it said September. So 
I'm glad I came across that and you reviewed it today. So that was good to know as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's such a, it really is a gold nugget program. Um, but some people don't want to spend the extra $20 and I understand that. But I always tell people, take the 30 days that you have for free and dig in and maybe even spend a month or two. Because like I've told people, like, see if you even use it. And if you don't, that's a good indication. I don't need it. But there is, if nutrition is where you struggle, it's, they really dig into a lot of that. And so a lot of it, I think, man, I would have never listened to that if I didn't have it or even really know what this is. But it's some really good stuff. And then the other thing, the the app for the BOD group, I mean, yeah. I do use it, but I don't know if it's my phone, but sometimes it takes a while. Like I, I'll go on there and I click to get all the notifications and it just doesn't take me to the actual notification. So then I get kind of frustrated. It's like, okay, I'll go back out and then go back in. So mm -hmm. that's my only issue. So it's not that I'm not, I like it, but I just feel like I struggle with opening the information. A hundred percent. So it's that way across the board for everybody. So don't, and that's why sometimes like you'll see me go in and I, I'll be like, 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 or whatever. And it's because like, for whatever reason, I finally was able to get in there. And sometimes I just struggle or it'll like pop up and then I'll go to the next one. And then all of a sudden this whole stream of people like pop in. It's so weird. So with COVID happening, they are really, they really struggled with having the IT all available together. And so they're trying to do the best they can because um, they're in the IT departments in California, which is pretty, uh, well, you know, California is just kind of a, you know, who can get there and where can they can go. So um, they've been struggling with that kind of stuff. So it's eventually supposed to run like Facebook. So we're just hoping and waiting for that day to come. <laughs> Okay. Well, but that's, that's why I created that. the message thread. So that way, you know, more people can talk and converse and not be frustrated by that. A lot of the people that started the message thread, they were so frustrated with BOD. Um, we used to have this app called the My Challenge Tracker, and it was really easy. Um, but it was very basic, very, very basic. And they want to try to integrate all these different pieces together. So you really have only one spot to go. It's all right there for you. So okay. it'll get there. I think yeah. like there's um, updates planned for like two years. So it'll take a while, but we'll get there. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. At least yeah. it's something they're working on. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sylvia, did you have any questions? I can't hear you. You know what you could do maybe um, down below, it'll say chat. I can hear you, but it's just not coming clear. Yeah. Oh, so it'll go back um you can go back to all the months that happened previous and so you can if you wanted to take some time to really kind of go back and check them all out you can do that and all the recipes are up there and all the videos so if you were to go through the content and be like okay, ooh, this really sounds like I should listen to it and this sounds good. Like I tell people, binge watch it for 30 days. And if you're like, okay, yes, I'm getting enough content in here that I would like this, then keep it. But if you're like, I just don't really want to spend the 20 or I'm not going to use it, then I would cancel it. And the way you would cancel anything, and I actually should have showed this, um, on your Team Beachbody account, when you log in, under your login, you have a, an opportunity or a place to click my orders. And so it'll show you all the different orders that you have coming up. So it might have your Shakeology. It'll tell you when your BOD renews. It'll tell you if you have performance line and it will say nutrition plus. 
and it will show $20 and it will show when it will bill. So you can go in there and click for details and you can cancel it and it will walk you through on how to cancel. But you can also go in there if you were like, okay, I really like chocolate Shakeology, but I want to switch to vanilla next month. You can go under your orders too and click on under that order and you can click on there and you could go like one month chocolate, one month vanilla, one month chocolate, one month vanilla. Or you could be like, um, okay, I didn't like that at all. I'm going to try something else or you can change it up. Or if for some reason, and I always tell people, don't get backed up on it because you need to drink your Shakeology every day. But if for some reason you did and you have this extra Shakeology, you can like postpone your, your shipment to weeks. You can skip a month, things like that. Did that, that answer your question? Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Any other questions, you guys? These were good questions. Still trying to get used to it. I know there is a lot of information and a lot of things coming at you so don't be overwhelmed and just like take in what you can and I did when I was at football I did get your email about um, there's you know with the especially with the trackers and the be strong 100 I would say like don't just start on your journey, right? Just start on working on bringing some of those things in. The habit tracker, we're gonna to start to do every month. I really feel like we're gonna to start to do that because I think that's gonna help us on our journey. Um, the Be Strong 100 is almost just like a little bit more dialed in for that. And I say if you can just do, kind of just start on working to build all those things into your journey, you're gonna be on a, good, on a good pace. So don't get overwhelmed by that kind of stuff. Um, I'm always looking for things to help us on our journeys together. Like if I feel like I'm struggling with something, I, if I'm struggling with it, I know other people have to be right. So these are some things that I feel like, especially during the holidays, I can get overwhelmed with making sure I get my workout in. Nutrition is super hard, right? I mean, in a couple of months or in a couple of weeks, we're going to be getting closer to Halloween. And then it's like, the holidays start and in most of the time the holidays for people are like 10 30 to 12 31. you guys holidays are three three days right like in there so you can still enjoy your holiday but getting back into some of those things that help you feel good so um i would say just focus in on you know figuring out your nutrition plan and how you're going to follow that and what's the best one for you and what kinds of things can you meal prep with? And are you planning that? Getting your workout in, making sure you're getting your water in, those basic things, I think is a good start. I worked out on water. Now. Yeah. I had that set the last Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I will say the nutrition part, it's hard to get that rolling. I will be honest with you. But I would dig into, if you're doing Ultimate Portion Fix, dig into Autumn's stuff. And she has a lot of already created meal plans out there that are easy. And if you go on the blog, she has a lot of stuff in there too that gives you good ideas to meal prep and stuff like that. I feel like Hers is much easier to meal prep than necessarily Alana's unless you do the one sheet pans or like, you know, um, big sheets of veggies and stuff like that. So, cause a lot of times with ultimate portion fix, like I'll make a big thing of brown rice, I'll do hard boiled eggs. And then I typically do a simple meat of some sort, like chicken, shredded chicken with some, and sometimes it'll vary. Sometimes it's just salt, pepper, and garlic. Sometimes it's like with a, a enchilada, enchilada, I was gonna say like enchilada E, that doesn't make sense, but like a red sauce type that's a little bit more like I can make like tacos out of them or um, you know, like burrito bowls. We do a lot of burrito bowls in our house that like mimic Chipotle, 
And mm -hmm. so I can either add the rice or I cannot add the rice. So especially like during football season, like tomorrow we can do a, um, a good meal, but like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I have to do some sort of crock pot or something really quickly so that we can whip it together because they get home about 7.30. And um, it's pretty late to be eating, so. Okay. Yeah, I haven't looked at any of the other, um, what's her name, Alana, is that her name? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, I haven't looked at those. Well, right now you were showing them and they do look really good, some of I those know. recipes on there. But yeah, I mean, I think that's probably why I chose the other one because mm -hmm. it just seemed that it would be a little bit easier for me to, you know, control yeah. what I was eating. So yes, yeah, that's for me personally. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. I, um, I can easily um, think my portion is perfect with potatoes, right? That's a great one for me anyway. And I'll be like, well, that's small. Well, not really, right? And so when you start to use them, you can start to see like about how many is that going to be and about, you know, like and when you're sticking to it, like this time next month, we're going to be really feeling good about our nutrition because we're really dialing it in this year. And so um, it'll allow you to really kind of focus in on that kind of stuff and how much you have. But most of the time, people aren't like, I ate so much broccoli. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. <laughs> That's never happened to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I can say that about ice cream or chocolate cake or even fries or potatoes or something like that. So I need the portions. It helps me dial things in. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any other questions. Oh, I don't think so. Okay. Well, know like if you ever have more, throw mm -hmm. them in the chat because chances are people have them and they're just maybe, or they might be like, ooh, that's a really good question. I never thought about that. Um, and I meant to ask you, Sylvia, do you want me to add you into the message thread? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add you in there. Okay. And then make sure to, I just sent out um, this morning, the weekly email. So make sure you get, you get it and you add my email, the laurenlamfit.com at gmail.com. Make sure you add that to your contacts so you don't, so it doesn't go into your junk inbox and you get those. Cause I'll do, do like, random ones here and there you know so you might get from me like right now you're going to get like the weekly emails and then you're going to get the be strong 100 emails so you know just take what you can and use it and i mean you're already on your journey so the be strong 100 there's really not too much it's really just people that really want to dial it in a little bit more okay uh, okay i do have one question just want to make sure i'm doing this correctly for the recover Mm -hmm. After I work out, I've been taking it. So I had read, like, I take it, and then an hour later, I can drink my Shakeology. Is that right? Yeah. Or Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure I was doing that right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, your recover, though, you want to drink about no more than 30 minutes after your workout. Okay. So it just helps get in those muscles. And basically, your muscles, when you work out and you lift heavy or lift hard, mm -hmm. um, it breaks down your muscle fibers. And so that's like when you're sore, like the next day when you can barely go down the stairs or you can barely sit on the toilet and you're like, oh my gosh, your muscles are trying to rebuild, but they're just going slower because you really built, you really broke them down. So the recover helps with the BCAs to help rebuild them. And so you may not feel as sore the next day. You'll probably still feel sore, but you're able to show up the next day and do that work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I love recover. So good. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I'm glad you guys hopped on. Um, I will send the recording out um, or I will have it and then I will start to add the recording to our week or to our weekly email so that people can kind of have the last one in recording. So for people that want to see it. So if you want to get the first part where you guys um, couldn't hop on and had trouble with the link, I don't know why it was giving us a hard time. Um, feel free, but any questions you guys let me know and then Sylvia, I'll add you to the message thread tonight, okay? Awesome. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take Great. a quick quick Thank picture you. of us. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, one second.
Uh, come on, my phone. Everything over in this technology world is slow. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, ladies, you have a good night, and I will see you guys in the group this week. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye.